Hello. Hello there. What do we got here? Got some animation treasures here. Okay. I'm Floyd Norman. The Floyd Norman. The Floyd Norman, cartoonist since the 1950s. Even worked with Walt Disney himself. Okay, that must have been... Uh... It was exciting. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just I'm a little overwhelmed. I mean... Um... So was I. <laughs> this is really incredible stuff. Hey, Corey, this is like one of the main animators for Disney forever. Oh, wow. So do you remember Roger Rabbit when you were a kid? Yeah. This guy drew it. <laughs> okay. I have buddies with Jessica Rabbit tattooed on them. <laughs> so what Disney films did you work on? Well, my first feature film was Sleeping Beauty back in 1958. And we followed that with 101 Dalmatians, Sword and Stone, Mary Poppins, The Jungle Book, a lot of stuff. And then, you know, I jumped into TV for a while, worked at Hanna-Barbera on the Flintstones, Scooby-Doo. And I spent a number of years working at Pixar Animation Studios, Toy Story 2, and finally, Monsters Incorporated. Wow. So what are these right here? These are actually stills from the motion picture, The Jungle Book, and signed by me. This was my favorite movie. I remember seeing it and thought, this kid has the world's greatest life. <laughs> <laughs> and it was for me, too. Keep in mind, this was Walt Disney's last film. So was Walt active on, like, every animated film? He was indeed. That was his signature. Uh, nothing got past the old maestro. You ever get mad at you? Fortunately, he never did. <laughs> okay. And that's because I knew how to make him laugh. Okay. That right there, Roger Rabbit Roger cartoon Rabbit. strip. Well, you know, Roger was a, a big hit as a film, but we were going to do a syndicated comic strip, but it never sold. It was never published. So these strips right here are a treasure because they're one of a kind. Okay. Oh, uh, this is something very special. It's not Disney, but it's a film I truly love. The Iron Giant. This is the saddest cartoon I've ever seen in my entire life. It makes grown men cry. And it's signed by writer-director Brad Bird and his team of animators. So that's very special. OK, and then we have... It is a cartoon cell from The Little Mermaid. This is our last animated Disney feature that was actually inked and painted by hand. That's pretty cool. How much you want for all this? $4,000. Um, you know what? Let me call my Disney guy in. OK. He's going to be in love with this, probably love to meet you. OK. Uh, I'll be right back. Mr. Norman, I Greetings. know who you are. Indeed, I am who I am. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> Look at that. So he's cleaning out his closets. Wow. Uh, where's the rest of the stuff? You got to have more <laughs> than this. OK. Well, we got Jungle Book. Looks like a more modern pressing, but yeah. very cool nonetheless. You worked on this sequence, I know, right? Yes, I did. Yeah. It was the first sequence I worked on. And I was still a kid in my 20s when I, when I did the sequence. And we had to show it to Walt Disney. And uh, the good news was Walt liked it. He thought it was funny. But Walt added one thing. He said, this sequence needs a song. Walt had the Sherman Brothers write a song, Trust in Me, oh, yeah. that Ka the Snake actually sings as he hypnotizes the kid, Mowgli. That was Walt Disney's idea. That's fantastic. And then here we have an animation cell. So this is from The Little Mermaid. This cell was actually used in the film. Little Mermaid as a film sort of rejuvenated feature animated oh, it uh, did indeed. for the industry, as, I, as I understand yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, fantastic. And then it uh, looks like some comic strip art. Who framed Roger Rabbit? Very cool. Now, never published. Never saw the light of day. How many more of these strips you think might exist, or what do you what do you know? I don't know of any others. Okay, that's what okay. makes these so rare. Yeah, that makes a difference. Once this idea was nixed, uh, the artwork just all vanished. These are great. And then it looks like a poster. Oh, the Iron Giant. And looks like it's got like signed probably by the animators, perhaps. The animators, yeah. The the animation team. Did you guys see the Incredibles? Films, the I did see The Incredibles. Brad Bird created The Incredibles. Same guy. This is great because, as I understand, when The uh, Iron Giant came out, Pixar saw it and poached most of the artists up there. And right. many of them are still yeah. employed up there to this day, right? That's correct. OK. So how much do you think all this would retail for? Wow. There's a lot of stuff here. The comic strips in the cell are definitely the uh, high points of this particular lot. And then the poster is great. It's all great. Yeah. I think the whole collection, probably about 4,000. OK. Yeah. And uh, I'd say keep the man happy and see if he can bring in round two, because that, <laughs> that's the real curiosity here yeah. for me. All right. 
All right. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me it, over. Man. It's Corey. Hey. Thank you. Great to meet you. Okay. All right. Um, would you take two thousand for it? He, I mean, he's saying I could retail it for four. Yeah. I got to frame it up and resell it. Right. 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 I got a lot of stuff in my studio, so I'd say yeah. Okay, we got a deal. Yeah. Okay, and deal. Um, come with me. I'll write you up. Okay. We'll talk later about going to your studio. You bet. Okay, cool. Okay. Right now, this pawn shop is the happiest place on earth.